Hi guys, we're going to try and recreate this um, volcano picture. I found it online and I quite fell in love with it. I thought it was, it was very artistic and I loved all the bright colours of the hot um, colours going into some of the cooler colours as it goes off, as the temperature drops, as the volcano erupts. So I quite liked doing this. And I liked all the bits of lava all being splashed in the. I think it had a, it has a lot of um, drama in this picture. So what we're going to do? I've just got some watercolor paints. Okay, it's got some paint brushes, different size paint brushes. So I've got a thicker one and a thinner one. Um, I've also got um, cotton wool ball and a tissue just to help do some of the blotting and take some of the paint away to get some of these more pastel colours and some of this texture here so what we're going to do first of all I'm going to have a bit of white carbonate in that, that picture in front of me so I can see it's not going to be easy because I'm painting sideways and looking forwards so what I'm going to do got what I'm going to do first is just going to wet my paper down so what i'll do start at the top just work your way down on the card if you've got paper you might have to skip this bit i don't know if it'll work so well but you can have a go or stick two bits of um paper together this um doing it like this just helps the paint move across the paper more easily Let's try and get the wrong angle. So the tripod's there. So hasn't got to be perfect. Doesn't matter if you don't get every single paper. We don't want to soak the paper. We just want to make the paper a little bit damp. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is just get some of my black and then put it into the lid. So I might just take a bit more. And then just wipe some of that black paint in the lid. I have to wash all these lids later. And then just add some water. So what, what I want to do is water this down. And I want to make it quite soft. And see how that's getting that sort of smoky grey. Like it's um, like there's smoke in the air. And it gets that sort of watery look. Let's just put that down, find somewhere to put it. Right, I'm just going to get my cotton wool. I'm going to dip that in. And round the bottom where I've got my volcano, I'm just going to dab this cotton wool. Now, if you haven't got cotton wool, do it with a piece of screwed up tissue paper. So screw the tissue paper up and it will give you the same effect. I'm going to run out of paint. Actually, it's a good way of cleaning the... Um, you can see, look, it's all gone and it's cleaning all my... Uh, um, lid up. So I'm just going to mix up another load quickly. So you might have to do a couple of these. Just in case. And as I said, get all my black. I'm going to add all my water just to get that. Make sure I get that nice, soft, smoky grey. So it looks like smoke going in the air. And we don't want it too dark. There we go. So you can tell if we've got enough. So you might just have to keep on adding. Just to one end, you don't want to fill the whole palette up. I know some of you like to paint the palette lid but we don't need to paint the palette lid so we only just want that little bit in the corner okay it doesn't matter if i've just got a dot on there because there is dots on there eventually so i'm just going to dip in and then i'm just going to finish this bit off all up the sides this is quite a nice effect it does take it cotton wool does absorb this quite quickly I'm just doing that area all down here 
Okay. Oops. Pop it over there. Right, next colour I'm going to do on the picture is um, some blue, light blue tones up the side for the sky. So what I'm going to do is do the same thing again. So get some blue and put it into my lid. Let's find a different area just in case there's a bit of tinge of black. So put some of my blue. Yeah, like that. And then I'm going to get my cotton wool ball. Now you can use got your black, you can use the other side, don't waste it. So I'm just going to use the other side and do some of this. I haven't got quite the right colour that this artist has used, but that doesn't matter. I'm just going to have to do some more. So you just got to have patience with this one. Just a little tiny bit more. Just have patience, don't rush. It's not a race. We don't want to cover the whole paper. We still want this middle bit to look quite white. So it has that sort of smoky look. Right, the next bit. Ooh, I'm nervous doing this one. I've never done it before. Right. The next bit is I'm just going to clean this brush. I'll just wipe the brush, you might have a scrap bit of tissue as well, because you might want to do that on your tissue. Now I'm going to use the black again. Now be careful with this, because I know lots of you absolutely love your black. Okay, so we don't want to um, cover the whole paper with black in your hands and everything else. Alright. I'm just going to... Um, put the cotton wool where we had the grey go back to the original I'm just going to do some darker areas I'm just going to wet that palette down again wet the paint down let's just put that there and I'm just going to do some like dark splats just where my volcano would be in the middle A couple of dark ones up there, not too many. That's it. Right now, I'm going to go down with my paintbrush, and it looks like they've gone down. I've just done some brush strokes. So, we're going to come down to the corner of this page, make sure it's quite heavy. We're going to put lots of walls paint on because we want it really black, and then straight in the middle. And then you're gradually going to rotate your brush to this side. Okay, so I'm going to do a few more to that corner. Now they have got some finer ones. I'm not going to go too heavy. And we're just going to do some sweeping out. Like that. So it's not going to be looks like a volcano and the dramatic look to it we just don't want to add too much then next one I'm going to do is I'm going to use a thinner paintbrush I'm just going to grab myself a thinner one if not use a black pen when this is dry and you can do the same thing let's just try it so they've got lots of thin lines now you could try this with black pen because this might be a bit tricky, this move. I'm finding this one a little bit. And you can do some thinner lines coming down. So you don't want to press hard because you want those thin lines. Okay. Hopefully you can still see my batteries go in. Let's see if we can get this done in time before the battery's completely gone. 
Okay, next bit we're going to do, I'm just going to clean the brush. Right, so in that break, in my little break there, all I've done was clean my water pots. So to get rid of all that black, we don't want that interfering with all our other colours. And clean your brushes. Right, next colours. So we need to now get the original picture back. Is now try and um, get all the coloured effect. So let's see how we can do this. Let's just put that there. Sorry, cutting across. So we need to blend the colours. Uh, what should we start with? Now those looks like they're starting almost from the top and working down. Okay. And layering the colours on top of each other. Right. So I'm going to go with a fine brush and let's see how we go with this one. So I'm going to clean the brush. Work dash. I'm going to go for this burgundy dark red colour. Okay. So I'm going to get blend on there. Hopefully your paper's still damp at the top so you can just feel if it's a little bit wet and that help your colours blend. So I'm just going to do this sort of swishy round and round. Now we want some bits lighter and some bits dark so we don't want it all. So we just want it to look a bit splatty. I'm just going to make sure I get some more paint on there. Make some of that really dark. And we can do some dabbing. And uh, next colour I'm going to use, while well, this is all a bit wet, I might just wet that down just a little bit more. Just to give that a little bit edge. Right, next colour they've used is purple. Is this purple? That's blue. I don't have a purple one. I have a purple in the other type palettes, but if not, we're going to go with dark blue. So I'm just going to swirl this round, so it's not going to be over exact. We can mix purple, actually, it's mixing it in the middle there. So. so it's bigger at the top. Now remember, we want to come finely down. And then I'm going to use a different blue. Now they've used more of a turquoise blue. I haven't caught that. So I'm going to use a different shade. Just bring it in. And you can see what it's doing on the water. Now we need to work quickly on this colour. So I'm just going to put some more of that dark blue. And some more of that red. And create that purple. So what I've used is red and a bit of the dark blue here and it creates that purple and all I'm doing is dabbing it at the moment up and down just to create that look okay then we use that blue come down right so all I'm doing is dabbing up and down that's the best way this looks more effective than when I first started and done that swirling around so dab up and down up and down up and down and I think that's a better technique now the next color I'm going to use is a mixture of I'm going to start with the dark green so I'm going to use this darker green can you see that all right so I'm going to use dark green just dab it over now we need to come down to a thin line oh, I'm going over one side little bit so I'm just gonna put that light back on so my battery was going right so do that and then I'm gonna use the light green because it's mainly the light green and to have that in more light green so a couple of strokes and then just dab up and down And it hasn't got to be all nice. I'm getting too nice and neat to make it look like smoke. 
and then we've got to go through the yellows and oranges so what I'm going to do is the next colour I'm going to use a bit is mustard and dab that and then the next colour just a couple of dabs a bit of yellow bright yellow let's go for the bright yellow up and down and then the next colour I'm going to use oh, is orange so I'm going to come back up this way it's that red and we're going to get to our hot colours now up and down maybe I've gone a bit too thick on this and then I'm going to come to a uh, red so I'm going to use that I haven't got a brighter red different red if you've got a red proper red red um, use that I haven't got if you've got sort of this sort of brighter red use that I haven't so I'm going to use this um, dark red again well it's not exactly like the artist but we're only trying to mimic it so I like this working through all the colours the explosions it's quite good next thing I'm going to do is go back to my thicker brush or I, no I'll start with thin one let's try it with thin one first oh nervous and white and then all I'm just going to do is do a couple of splats it's not going to work Oh, one splat. Oh, God, this is going to take ages. Oh, that's it. Hold the top of your brush like that just, and then just tap it. Only over the black, really. I've got a couple just coming out the top. So hold it down low to your piece, piece of paper. Get your paint and your water on and you're just going to give it a, just a tap. Now, now it might not work, some of mine's not coming out. If it's not coming out, just add a little bit more dip in the water and then tap. Now you're not trying to flick it everywhere over tables and people. So we just literally just want a couple of taps. And just a couple of taps over that dark red. Okay, I'm just going to make that crater come up a little bit more. And then you can do, I'm doing a couple of explosions in black. So I'm going to make sure I get this really, it looks like it's all swirling out. And the volcano is having a big eruption. So now this has dried down a bit, we can go over some of these lines that are, have gone a bit grey as they've so I can darkened some of it up. Okay, I'm quite proud of that. Well done to me. <laughs> I'm sure yours are going to be fantastic. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try this, see, that, see if this works. I've got a cotton wool ball again. I'm just going to take some of that off, that paint, at the top, dabbing it. Being careful, you've got to rotate it round or use your clean bit of tissue that we don't want to get some of the colours to all mix in. So I don't want the blues coming down to the reds. And then you can just play with it. Just add a bit more red. You can add a bit more where you feel it's it's needed. And that's it, guys. Now, what I would do with this, um, I would do, try and trim the edges and mount that on a nice piece of card. You could do um, one of these colours, 
or a piece of black card and mount it on a piece of card and try and think about your presentation of your work now because we're getting really good at doing artwork um, but start thinking about how we're going to present it to someone and how you want it to look. Have fun with this and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye. Don't forget to upload your pictures. I love seeing them.